sa Le Grand Residences, kung saan makakabanayam namin si interior designer Belen Moray na apat na pong taon na sa nagkarangan ng interior design. Ano pang hinihintay natin? Kilalanin natin siya! So good afternoon po. My name is Katrina De Leon po. And I'm Chantal Ate po. Okay. Will you please stop saying po? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 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 Um, okay. How do you want us to address you, Mrs. Maureen? Mrs. Maureen, alright. I don't know whether you would like to be formal or you'll just say. But it's not nice to naman in an interview to say tita, no? <laughs> or Lola. <laughs> just say na lang siguro, ma. Or I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how do you do it, ma. <laughs> alright, but ma, we'll, ma, we'll just call you ma. Oh, sige. Hindi ba? I think I'd put it on one naman may po. <laughs> so let's make it We're all more business, that's a business like uh, uh -huh. corporate. <laughs> so, uh, for this interview, uh, we will ask for your name and a short introduction about yourself and kung kano katagal na po kayo sa larangan ng interior design. Interior design yeah. I am Belen Moray and I am a practicing interior designer up to now. I have been uh, involved in teaching, uh, of course, the, the professional course of interior design for the last 40 years. And um, in fact, should I say it, that uh, we were the ones who first introduced and prepared the curriculum for interior design. Uh, program, a degree program for interior design at the UST with uh, Dean Victoria Edades and Carlos Aguetes. Uh, I was, I had also been um, the first board examiner for interior, for licensure of interior design uh, profession and afterwards I had been a representative uh, to the International Organizations of Interior Designer, the APSDA, Asia Pacific Interior Designers Association, and the International Federation of Interior Architects and Designers, which is based in Europe. <clears throat> and um, I had been uh, awarded a um, fellow by the International Federation of Interior Architects and Designers. And of course, I, was, I am also a fellow of the Philippine Institute of Interior Designers. As of now, I'm retired from my teaching, but I have not retired from my practice, although my practice is now slower, in the sense that it has to be um, in proportion to my age. <laughs> But I still do continue doing my work mm -hmm. and, uh, and being active in the professional organization. So, um, as an interior designer, po, ano po ba yung sty style nyo? Ah, um, my style? Yes. You mean design you, style? Yes, design yeah. style. Now, actually, during our time, there's no such thing as specialization because today we have already kitchen specialist, lighting specialist, and all those specialists because this is now the age of specialization. But during our time, it's it's like medicine, general practitioner. No? We do um, interiors for residentials, commercials, institutional, and any sort of. And in fact, I have, no part, uh, I have always been doing residentials and of course lately I had been doing some uh, clinics, doctor's clinics and uh, condominiums. So those, but there's no really, and for style, I can do modern and classical, whatever. <laughs> na isisingit nyo na po ba yung uh, Filipino style of sa course. doing sa bawat of course, oh, yes. yeah. in fact, all the signs that we do had always been integrated with the Filipino because 
uh, actually, that's what we say. You know, when you want to go modern, let's say, you you just don't go modern. Not today, today come modern. You have to integrate what is the unique Filipino culture within the design. Because pagka hindi ganon, parang yung design natin nagiging kopya natin sa America or sa pang country, no? But still, that is the uniqueness ng Filipinos. Kasi tayo, hindi ba, we use our native materials. We use, nagre-recycle tayo, nag, um, nag-i-innovate yung mga old ones, nire-restore natin yung mga old furniture, ganyan. And um, so we cannot help it na when we do a design, yung design natin nagre-reflect sa kailangan ng Pilipino. Kasi pag hindi naman tayo nag-design according to what we like, yung we lifestyle natin para bang you feel that you are in a hotel parang nasa hotel ka kasi naka-standard yung design eh but you feel at home pagka yung design mo is nag-jive sa taste ng Filipino so there is always a Filipino touch in any design that we do mm-hmm. kagaya ng halimbawa you're designing a kitchen hindi ba ang Filipino mahilig sa mga yung, yung plates nila, naka, nakataog doon, napahanginan, hindi kagaya ng Americans, it's always nakasarap, nandun sa washing, yung mas- sa ano, dishwasher, tapos nakatago na sa cabinet. Tayo, usually, meron tayong place where we put our things na, na, na naka-expose. Mm-hmm. Yun yung mga Filipino touches, eh, nawala yung sumitya ng international. Oo, marami tayong ganyan, even in our bi- bedrooms, hindi ba yung yung ating uh, cabinets, it's not all hidden eh. Meron tayong cabinets where we can put our pillows and our blankets and ano na, na madaling kunin. So, it's always integrated sa design. Yung dumalabas yun to make it functional. Kasi, syempre, na-approve din yan ng client, ano? When you present the design, approve it. Ay, kailangan ko ganito, kailangan ko ganyan. Ang dami-dami. So, yeah, I believe in always introducing, integrating yung Filipino culture sa design. Pero yun nga po, um, doon po tayo sa may, eh, doon tayo sa may bandang na Filipino tayo. So, magkaroon na po ba ng language barrier between you and your client? Wala naman. I don't see. Kasi most of my clients naman are Filipinos. Although meron din akong clients na mga foreigners, yung mga uh, na nakatira dito sa Philippines, na ano, pero... I have not experienced that, no? Pero most of the time, siguro ang barrier na sinasabi ninyo may be yung taste. Yes. Uh, siguro sa taste, yung kaya ng color at saka kagaya ng materials. Kasi sila, sanay sila sa sturdy materials, ganyan. Tayo kung minsan, sanay tayo sa mga using native materials natin. Parang it's fa- something foreign to them. Pero kasi kung minsan yung texture ang hinahabol natin, eh, hindi pa ayaw natin maglagay ng puro na lang plain. Gusto natin meron tayong some rough areas, ganyan. Eh syempre kung minsan yung clients sabi niya, I don't like this, it me. <laughs> you know, maraming sinasabi yung mga ano. So you, pagka merong situation na ganun, yung parang ayaw nila, then you still have to follow the client because they're always right. <laughs> the clients are always right. Pero, uh, as a designer, you have to um, to tell them what is right. Parang in, ginagayda ninyo sila, di ba? So, yung po, um, uh, has, has the Filipino language ever, like, changed your, well, not really changed, but or the effect that your uh, profession um, hindi naman in a way kasi lang ang effect ang effect niya sa profession is that most of the time we have to speak in English kasi pagka nang ipag-usap ka sa client mo na higher level ayaw nila Tagalog ka ng Tagalog syempre they might be done syempre you have to, to talk to them like uh, corporate <laughs> o oh, kaya yun na nga ang it's not that nahihiya tayo sa Tagalog pero it's better that you introduce yourself in English ngayon kung nakita mong nagtatagalog siya then you can always go back to the dialect ano? pero kailangan umpisa 
ikaw muna mag-English. <laughs> Kasi kung hindi, baka mami niya sabi niya, ano ba itong client? Ano ba itong aking designer na ito? Designer ba ito? O katulog? <laughs> Kasi, you know, we need to give a good impression yes. sa clients na when you when we dress up we don't have to be the party goer look pero at least you clean clean looking no hindi kasi first impression uh, first impression talaga count, count a lot with especially with our profession so para po sa inyo ano yung tingin niyo po uh, tungkulin ng interior designers po sa kultura sa ika and sa Lipunan po natin ngayon. Well, of course, ang katungkulan ng interior designer is actually number one is to set the record straight. No? Meaning, ang ibig ko sabihin doon, uh, siguro yung lifestyle natin, we can always start from the home. Um, as an interior designer, siguro, from your home, you can make your life pleasant by going home to a nice pleasant place yung balang mga basura basura dyan everything in place lang you don't have to have very expensive uh, equipments in the house or materials pero kailangan everything is just on the right ano on the right track so um kung merong mga Uh, situations where your help is needed to beautify your town without pay, you can give your services for free if it is to improve the, uh, the, the environment, number one, clean environment, tapos dapat maganda um, um, presentation to, to give a good impression of the place, no? a clean, not necessarily Um, paved or anything but at least clean, orderly and beautify without even thinking of will I get paid for this kasi yung iba, they want to help pero they want to get paid so as an interior designer I think it is also our duty to give an outreach you know, sharing our talent up to a certain extent to help our mga kagaya natin, mga barangays, ganyan. At saka, to, to teach them how to how to make, ano, make use of indigenous materials to convert it to a, a useful thing. Hindi ba yun ngayon yung mga outreach program, yung mga tinuturoan using mga newspaper to make it a bag or um, ano pa ba ito? Basta maraming areas that an, a designer who understands can help. Cleanliness, design-wise, you can even help decorate yung mga government offices na mukhang ano, magulo and then you can you can offer your services to make a good layout using their old materials not telling them to buy new things. Recycling. Mm-hmm. Recycling. But speaking of like sharing your talents, Um, ano yung pinakamaganda, parang yun, yung pinakamaganda na ibigay mo tayo sa mga kliyente or kaya naging estudyante yun uh, kung ano na nag-progression nyo? Uh, advice? Yes. Well, for students, ang, ang, which I considered very much na ano na ano, advising no, during especially preparation ng mga thesis, ganyan, you, you give them um, ano ba yun? Pointers. First, how to prepare their work without really... Uh, because, you know, oh, by the way, for some students, when they are preparing a, a plate work, they spend hours and hours and, you know, almost sleepless nights that at the end, they get sick. So, you have to, ano eh, yung time mo, yung portion mo, time for sleeping and time for working. Kasi kung hindi mo i-divide yung time mo, talagang you will find yourself sleepless every night. Kasi you know, when you're too sleepy, you cannot think anymore, but you're still awake. So what happens? Your, your work becomes so messy and everything. And when you present it, mm, poor. We actually have blockers that have to not sleep at all. And they lose their passion. 
because of the sleepless nights and yeah, asking it's the wrong. That's why you have to know how to divide your time. Time management talaga. That is for students, no? Do not overdo. Kasi overdoing things like that is not really helpful. Ngayon sa mga, ano naman, sa clients, that's what we tell them also. Huwag naman kayong mag-isip na because you wanted to impress your designer, sabihin mo, gusto ko ganito, ganito, ang mahal-mahal pala ng sinasabi niya. Because the, the designer can always uh, advise you on what, I mean, on a direction, direction mo sa design without really spending a lot. Kasi kung minsan gusto nila masabi lang na itong client na ito, mayaman, so he will do anything that the designer does. Kaya nga, when there is um, one of the first job of the designer is to interview a client. Now, ano yung reason ng client interview? You just wanted to know what this client's lifestyle is. Kaya, hindi ba, um, usually, ang interview with the client does not mean business interview. It means kung isa nagkukwentuhan lang kayo ng client. Um, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Bigan, kunyari, when you first go to a job, this is the, the thing we do, no? First thing they want to a job, let's say a client calls you, tapos sinabi niya, meron akong pagkagawa. O sige, sabi niya, the, ang mas maganda doon, you have to go to the place. Hindi pwedeng, sige, oh, sige, wala talaga sa pisina ko, mag-usap tayo. It's better na, can I see the place? Kasi pagdating mo sa place, when you look at the place, when you talk, you don't talk na ano bang kailangan mo, ano bang gusto mo dito. You can ask, sino ba nang gagamit dito? Ilang taon ba yung anak mong gagamit dito? Yung parang ganyan ba yun sa mga kwento-kwento muna. And then, out of that conversation, malalaan mo na ano bang klase ng anak nito. Uh, sporty type ba? Homebody ba? Reading type ba? Or anong klase ng bata? So more or less, when you design, alam mo na yung design mo. So, even your client, alam mo na rin kung anong lifestyle niya. Kasi ano ang ginagawa ninyo? Anong, anong usual ninyong um, day work, you know? Do you get up early? Do you go to work early? Ganun lang yung usapan eh. Hindi mo naman talaga kakanong tatanong yung kapit. Ang kanil mong budget. You know, that's that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nagkakwentuhan lang kayo. Pero out of that, you learn already how to make your design. Tapos, advising mo sila. Kasi, oh, ganito, I can advise you na hindi kayo masyadong kakagasta, pero, ano, lalagay natin according to your, ano, needs. to your needs. Kasi, hindi naman natin kailangan lagyan lahat ng, ano, although, you, let's say, your house is very big, you don't have to build it up. You can build it up, it and build it up as you find it necessary. Ganun yun eh. Yun siguro mga advice. Kasi, kung minsan, gusto nila lahat nandun na eh, which is not nice anymore. <laughs> um, babalikan ko lang po yung tanong po kanina na yung tungkol po sa uh, yung English, yung barriers po. So, talagang nabanggit niyo po na English po yung madalas na ginagamit niyo or usually na unang pang intro niyo sa mga kliyente niyo po. Depende. Oh, okay. like, 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 pag nakita mo yung client, ano ba yung Tura niya, ano ba siya yung is he ma- ma- masalita ng English o masalita siya ng Pilipino? Kasi makikita mo rin ang type ng client kasi some rich clients are Tagalog-speaking people, ha? hindi sila lahat naka-English-English dyan. So, tatansyahin mo rin sila eh. Kung nakita mo sila si 30 times na gano'n, gano'n din ang usap mo sa kanila, magandaan, maaga, magandang hapag. You have to, ano, so size up your client. Hindi naman kagad English ka, baka magulat yung client. Ayaw na niya, sabi niya, ayoko dito. <laughs> Kakatakot pala ito. Na-overwhelmed. <laughs> oh, oh. Pero kung magamit po ba kayo ng mga malalal, hindi naman sa malalalim, pero yung mga salitang katulad po ng kobre kama. Ah, oo, of course. Mga, oh. Yung mga Tagalog. Tagalog, oo, oh, oh, ginagamit natin. Oh. Lalo na pag kayo na nga, you're talking of things in the house. O oh, usually, it's Filipino names yung ginagamit natin. Hindi na bed cover, quilted ba, ganyan-ganyan. <laughs> pag nababanggit niyo po ba yun, minsan po yung mga kliyente niyo po ba parang hindi nila naiintindihan? Or... O oh, oh, pagka, na, pagka ganun, inuulit-ulit tayo, binibigay mo yung another term, kung alam mo yung term sa Tagalog. Oh, oh, ganyan. Pero usually, we use the standard terms naman eh, na 
most housewives or most people know. We don't really use the money in mga mga kuwit. Kung isa ka gaya ng term na charger, sabi nila, ano yung charger? <laughs> ano pala yun? Di ba? Yung pag-serving sa, yung fine dining, yung yung parang plate na second plate. <laughs> oh, yung mga ganyan. Di Sabihin ko lang po yan. Alam mo yun. Yan ano <laughs> <yun? laughs> kaya nga, that's why isa sa isa mo yung client. Kung hindi naman sila marunong mag-fine dining and they're not asking you to make a fine dining set ng I mean, formal dining room, you don't use those terms na para biglain sila. Kaya kailangan din naman kayo, you have to know many things para pagka uh, na-size up ng client mo na high-end na client dito. So you use the terms na high-end then. You see that they are just middle, yeah, middle I term. Then. Adjust. Adjust ka. You have to adjust. That's how you should be. Para magandang picture mo sa kanila. <laughs> bilang, ano po, pag, bilang pagtatapos sa interview na ito, ano, ano, bi, ano sa tingin niyo po yung maiuugnay nito sa sarili niya na obra? Kumbaga, anong obra po yung parang tingin niya na kayo po? Ano <laughs> Well, actually, Mm-hmm. Hindi kasi, uh, during the earlier times kasi na nagpa-practice ako, meron, we were practicing not only as a design, as a interior design, but we also meron kami furniture na no, construction, meron kami furniture shop. Kasi may kapartner ako, dalawa kami, we set up a business, no? Tapos, as partnership, we have done some hotels in time na yun, and then we do also mga furniture. So, I would consider yung mga hotels na ginawa namin can be some of our obras. Kasi ang residential, syempre, are residential. Pero yun nga, we have done some hotels and institutional, ano. And in fact, on my own, I have also done hospitals. Pero those are old, ano na, <laughs> wala na, iba na nag-change na yun. Pero... I would still consider doing um, you know, projects like hotels and, uh, that I have done. Because I'm not involved in residential 